Okay, we ready? Can someone give me a countdown? Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. I am Haley. And I am David. And welcome to the very first episode of The Soccer Show, where Dave and I talk all things Barclays Women's Super League. But the difference with us is that we're not going to sugarcoat things. All we're going to do is go in on players when they deserve it. (laughs) We are professional enough. First up, Man City beat Everton 109 straight for Man City. Yeah, left it a little bit late, didn't they? But in the 60th minute... Yeah, they, they could have had two goals... Kira Walsh gets it late. Um, and again, this was their, their ninth win. I will say this, though. I was impressed by Everton. They were very organized, and they clearly had a game plan. Their block was really good, uh, yeah. and it is unfortunate to no, not... Ever, ever, no, Everton are good. And isn't it funny, like, the way I'm, like, raining on Sam? I'm like, no, you, she should have scored. Like, Sam's a, a, a defensive midfielder, and she's doing so well. Now she's I expect great. her to score every game. I love that. Um, Brighton beats Tottenham 2-0. Two really nice goals from Kagman. Yeah, good goals. I mean, Tottenham lost, so I'm an Arsenal fan, so it kind of made me a little bit happy. <laughs> but not but not too happy. Uh, speaking of Arsenal, Arsenal beat Birmingham City 4-0. What a response game for them. Yeah, I think, I think we won't talk about the goals because we're going to have a look at one of them later, but wow, Vivian. Chelsea beat West Ham 2-0. We had England to Kerr and Kerr to England. Yeah, and again, you know, FA, WSL team's inability to to mark Sam Kerr properly inside the six-yard box. I think I that's every league in the world. On. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And uh, on Monday, Bristol City beat Reading 3-2. What a game that was. Yeah, I only watched the goals. I don't want to say I watched the game. I didn't, but the goals were banging. Great. Banging goals. We had a red card. The whole nine yards. That was awesome. Um, yeah. And finally... I'm going to let you take this one away. Man United beat Aston Villa 3-0. And today we are joined with Manchester United's own Millie Turner. Look out. Millie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So, Hayley, we're going to talk about this Man United game. And first of all, I, you know I don't like really, really going in on people. But... Goalkeepers are so protected. I knew you were going to talk about this. Right, right. And like I, don't I knew really, this was coming. Really, I don't know if you remember, but like in the seventh minute, the Villa keeper goes up from a from a corner, and it's literally a 50-50 in the air, and the keeper goes like you know, as keepers do what the keepers do, and they just crumble as soon as like someone goes anywhere near them, and she got a free kick. And Jumbled. But it annoys me because Haley was a goalkeeper, right? So she always like backs up the keepers. And I just thought I wanted to know your opinion, Millie Turner, on whether goalkeepers are overprotected. They're overprotected. Yes. Even your own. Like, what if it was the reverse? They're overprotected. <laughs> They're overprotected. Facts. Facts. Go- goalkeepers can do what they don't want. They can punch you. They can stamp on you. And as soon as you like, Breathe near one, crumble. I, I still disagree. Well, of course you can. I disagree. do agree that they get the call wrong sometimes. No, because you've got the, the goalkeeper union. You know, you've got this GK union, which is nothing more than a cult. All right. So obviously this segment is kind of geared a little bit more towards fans in North America. So for those that are unattached, why should they be Manchester United fans? Everyone should be a Manchester United fan. <laughs> Don't Dave. <laughs> Actually, surprised Dave's let me on this show, but I think we play every we play a great style of football. And it's entertaining to watch. We've got a very very young good team who all all want to do the right things. We've got a football footballing team that, and I think that comes from Casey. Support us. You know, the funny thing is, I really want to go at you and I can't because you didn't lie. Like, they, they do play good football. And I do like I do like what Casey's doing there as well. Like, you're actually playing good football. And, but, as always, forget everything she said. Everyone should be an Arsenal fan. I'll keep this going. Um, what is it like to play for Casey? Unbelievable. Obviously, she's only just come out of playing, really, professionally. So, 
to have her then come and manage a team, I think she just understands you so well. I think she's got the perfect balance between being a manager and being a people person as well, which I think is so important, especially in this in this line of um, work. So, yeah, I just think she's unbelievable to work under. Okay, Millie, I'm going to keep us going. Hardest player you've ever had to defend? Tobin. Oh, nice. 100%. She's savage nightmare, isn't it? She goes left, right, oh. everywhere. Like she's so hard to defend against. It, even in pickup games, isn't it? You're just like, oh, I just want, can I just go on her side? Yeah. <laughs> She'll make you look silly. And it's, that's like, it's really disheartening. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got one more question for you, Millie. Um, and this, again, this is from me. Like, how old were you? And what impact did it have when your mum released Simply the Best? <laughs> That's a jam. Oh, she's Speaking of a hell of a best. tune, that is a hell of a tune. That is a hell of a tune. Hell of a tune. <laughs> really good at singing, you know. Is she really? Yeah, and my middle name's Tina. Um, oh, this, this is, is why we had you on. This was the big reveal. Yeah. Oh, this is great info to us. Can we put fireworks or something? This yeah. is it. We're going to keep Millie on. We're going to run through some of these goals. We've got a couple United goals in here, but we're going to keep things moving. And yeah, here are our top eight goals from the weekend. Rachel Rowe um, for Reading here. What a hit that is. Yeah. I'm, I'm so proud that you didn't say reading. <laughs> I've never said that. That's one I have not gotten wrong. You know why I'm doing this? Because me and Millie can gang up on you now. It's usually Americans <laughs> against me. I feel like your accent's getting stronger. Um, oh, it is. Check out this goal, though. This Good actually ball. was the winner for City. Bristol City. Yeah, that's class. What do you think, Millie? What, how, would, how would you have blocked this, Millie? <laughs> you got to get closer to your man, don't you? I would I have taken to... her down. Would you? Studs up right into her ankles. Um, yeah. Actually, two goals here from Kagmin, um, but this one was nice. You know, I think as a keeper, you give it the old ole, but a very nice first time strike there with the left foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good strike there. Here we All go. All right, Millie. We'll let you go here, Millie. Tell us about it. Was that scripted or was this just you know, sheer luck. What are we working with? Never sheer luck with us. <laughs> uh, we've actually worked on this in training, so Stan put on an unbelievable ball. Um, Great header. Keep it rolling te here. Textbook header as well, wasn't it? We got another Sam Kerr header goal. I feel like this Wait, is something we Sam's say Sam's another week. one. Like, why, why do people let her jump inside the six-yard box? Pull her shirt. Just Don't let her jump. I'm not a toes. Yes. This is the winner here for City, Kira Walsh in the 81st minute. Um, just a take, nice strike. Let, let's, let, let's let Millie take this one. <laughs> she does it all the time. Yeah, it's a nice finish, wasn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, good strike through traffic. Could have won the Very league, that one. Nice goal. I love this view, this, this back view here. Great. All right, Millie, take it away. Another one. Beautiful ball from Haley Lad. And you can't let Zell in the box free. What 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 is it with you, you like defenders in this league? They're like, oh, do you wanna do you wanna header in the box? Yeah, no problem, go ahead. Good good header though. Yeah, beautiful Seems header. Fair. Um and Easy. here was our goal of the week. Let's have a question here. Pronunciation. Because we've said it Meadma. But the announcers how, all yeah. say it differently. How, would, how, how do you say how it? How do you say it, Millie? Miedema. Miedema. A little oh. more emphasis on the E. Miedema. All right. And congrats to Miedema for making it rain and having the goal of the week. Rain deodorant is a new product and has beautiful scents made from safe aromatic extracts. So it is fragrance free and made from only six ingredients. Also, there is no sticky residue. And as a special thank you for list to our listeners, you can receive 20% off your order by using the code JWS20 at checkout. Millie, would you would you like some atomic spice rain deodorant? I'd love so. Good, because I can smell you through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is all we got, Millie. Thank you so, so much 
for being on with us. Um, it was truly our pleasure. You are awesome. We have loved watching you play this year. I also appreciate your plug for Man United, and I will keep it in mind as I you know, make my big reveal at the end of the season as who will be my team. Millie, if you get me a Man United shirt with Turner 21 on the back, I'll never wear it, but I will hang it up behind me. Will you actually? Yeah. All yeah. right, then. But you've Done. got to sign it to Dave, my biggest fan. <laughs> Consider it done, Dave. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so, so much, Millie, and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Adios. All right, before we go, we have got some extra clips we thought you guys would enjoy. So as all great games have, we added some injury time. Um, kicking it off, red card or not, Rachel Rowe, Dave. Yes, that's a leg snapper. Studs are up. Stupid, she could have pulled out of it. But yeah, I do second. like the way she's acting like she was injured to try and get out of it. <laughs> you got you got to respect that. Um, mm. Yeah, second yellow and the first yellow had been a clear professional foul. So I'm oh. with you. No need. She got her with the studs. Chippy game, but a good game. Very, very chippy. And with with, with the next clip, I, I only brought this one up once we'd got rid of Millie because I wanted to just show that that's what we call in England as a 50p head. In America, we would call it a Toblerone head because when the ball hits your head and it goes nowhere near the goal. So really, I'm a coward because I didn't want to bring it up in front of her. Um, always fun. A little bit of spice here. And you gotta love a little nutmeg. Ooh. Very intentional. That was pretty. Yeah. She she had a few things in that game that were like a little bit spicy like that. It was almost atomic spicy. Um, and this is the one we're gonna end on, and, and I think this is awesome. Brighton honors their teammate, Rebecca Stott. I played with Stotty back in Seattle. Dave, I know you know her as well, but she was recently diagnosed with stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma, and she's going back to Australia to receive treatment. And the both teams are helping to raise money for a fundraiser where she's doing a she's shaving her head, um, which is really incredible. And and we wish her, you know, our thoughts are with her. Um, and, and and she's raising the fundraiser isn't for her; it's for a charity for her Hodgkin's correct. lymphoma, which is fantastic. So support it. She's a really really incredible person, player, the whole nine yards, and we wish her the best. Yeah. And that is it. Episode one in the books. I am Haley. Ooh, I am David. Were you nervous then, Haley? You looked pretty nervous. During the whole recording? Yes. Did I look tense? I mean, you know, I I'm think we both I think we both killed it. Week. I hope I the we were I hope I hope the people leave some comments below to let us know, number one, how good we were, and number two, maybe there's some stuff we could do better. But let us know. Um, but be, hit, be nice. Yeah, be nice. And hit that subscribe button. Make sure you catch the next episode next Wednesday and follow Just Women Sports on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We will see you all next Wednesday. Adios.